Muito bem, estamos nos encaminhando para o final das atividades deste evento. Nesse momento, para fazer a fala final e os agradecimentos que encerram esta iniciativa, convido o coordenador do Congresso 3DBB, o professor Dr. Rodrigo Rezende. Hello everyone. Probably you already know my face after these three, DD, three DBB uh, three days uh, of event, and so. Uh, I'm very glad to be here at this moment, and uh, we are now starting our closing ceremony virtually, uh, as happened in all Congress, except the uh, entrepreneurship panel that happened today. And uh, now I will show to you uh, some slides about the outputs and what, in summary, what happened during these three days. Um, Well, I would like to start here uh, thanking my colleagues, the 3D BB co-chairs, Professor Dr. André Capaldo and Dr. Hernani Barudi. They are uh, both my colleagues from our post program uh, in post, pro, post graduate program in biotechnology in the University of Araraquara. And, uh, They made all the efforts to help me this this uh, time, uh, these last weeks mainly, in these last days. And I uh, also uh, would like to reinforce the the support from uh, Uniara uh, team, and also from our postgraduate program, our NUT 3D, that is our nucleus for. 3D dimensional technologies in our program, and also Renato Wash Information Technology Center, who help us hardly to realize to to get uh, reality this event. These are uh, the logo representative logo from now the the supporters, the coordinators. The, the companies who participated in these days of event, the support agencies for research, and also the three last one at the bottom, uh, the international supporters, uh, societies uh, that give, gave us this uh, important endorsement who recognized our event as officially uh, uh, event in biofabrication and bioprinting area. Uh, I would like to show here all the names uh, that compo compounded the scientific committee. So we have here uh, national and international names uh, from, from far, from uh, uh, clo closer to us. And so we have here Many people from São Paulo State, from Araraquara, from Brazil, and even abroad. We have here the second part, uh, where we have here uh, other participants from Austria, Venezuela, from Pakistan, Netherlands, and if I'm not uh, forgetting someone here, these are uh, a very, uh, we are very uh, pride, uh, proud from about this cooperation and this hard work they did these days and before the the conference i would like to emphasize here uh, in name of all of the of these uh, committee members uh, dr loneta lima uh, she really uh, helped us a lot during these days in many activities but i can assure to you that all Each member of this helped us a lot. I would like to express my gratitude for these names here, uh, our technical support who helped us and assure that this event could happen. And uh, we, I, I, I will not read name by name, but you can see these names. They are from Araraquara University, from CTI, And from other institutions as well. So I, I thank so much everyone. 
Here we can see the, the lines, the thematic areas we uh, promoted in this conference. So we had seven hours, uh, seven areas, and uh, we had uh, works or abstract in all of the areas. I will show to you the development of these uh, areas during the Congress. So we had many lectures that uh, represented uh, one or more of these areas. So we have here some numbers. We can see here on the top uh, left the number of participants. So we, we started the event with 800 uh, registered people, participants. We got uh, 100 more during this time. And, but uh, this NR uh, means that uh, we had other uh, non-registered uh, people watching uh, through YouTube channel our uh, presentations. That is a good number. So we can estimate that we had more than 1,000 audience people. That is, is a very uh, representative number for us. We had two, two mini courses. Uh, this design 3D for bioprinting had uh, an audience of more than 300 people. The other mini course uh, about Invisalio software uh, had an audience about 170 people. Uh, they, we got impressive about these numbers, the interest from the audience about this. We had the participation of 23 countries uh, from all around the world. So this got us very happy too, because in this sense, we reached the, our uh, goal that was as an international conference to reach uh, the most country as, countries as possible. So we are very glad with this number. Here uh, left uh, on, at bottom, we had uh, uh, 11 uh, lectures plus these two main courses. Uh, we had the panel, COVID-19 panel, where we got uh, 17 videos and, uh, with high quality and showing uh, many interesting works. And we had this, uh, this last day, the entrepreneurship panel, who we had, uh, uh, in which we had uh, four uh, companies and six participants uh, besides the two chairs. Here, uh, just a, a figure illustrating all the, the lectures and all the speakers and the countries. So we got very proud about this. All the the flags here showing each uh, country participating on this event. So we can see countries from Americas, Europe, Asia, Oceania, uh, and Europe. Okay, that's very good. We have here uh, a graph. These red points means that uh, we have at least one registration from each each point. So it's not bad. I think uh, we reach all the world. I really would like to, to be rich the Africa continent as well. Let's see if we, next time we can do this. Uh, you know, COVID-19 was an interesting panel. Here is uh, just a front page of the YouTube channel. So we had this. This channel will be opened. So if you uh, didn't have the chance to visit the, this channel, you can see uh, just after the, the conference. And uh, we will keep all the lectures open for some time. So if you like some special movie or presentation, you can repeat and he watch. And uh, if you didn't have the chance to see, one of the lectures, you will have the chance by now on. You have, we have the name of the, the institutions or project uh, which 
percent of this submitted to us these videos. So I can assure you that uh, we have special people and special companies here and universities and uh, research centers. So they uh, bought our idea. And so we got very, very happy to, to get these videos. So I can say that uh, our, our uh, digital uh, gallery was very beautiful. Our entrepreneurship panel. So we had here the companies BioEdTech, Bio BioIn, 3D Biotechnology Solutions, Eva Scientific, and HP, uh, Brazilian HP. So here are the, the conference, the, the speakers and participants in this, this debate. So in uh, also Professor Hernani and myself as chairs of this, this panel. So uh, a very interesting, and so I, I think that everyone uh, had enjoyed this. We had uh, also in this 3D BB conference, eight parallel sessions for abstract presentations, uh, which count on uh, two uh, chairs by session. Uh, so in total, 16 chairs. And uh, we count, count on the scientific committee members. And so they made a fantastic job. Uh, they organized it and they uh, managed all the sessions perfectly. So I got uh, many uh, feedbacks, positive feedbacks about it. And so here is an illustration in one of uh, the, the, the rooms that we realized. And we, we had, uh, we got uh, about seven, more than 70 uh, abstracts, which is not bad. So this uh, was a not a surprise, but uh, uh, it's a, a representative number. So this closing conference, uh, closing ceremony is also uh, devoted to uh, the announcement of the, the best uh, abstracts and presentations. So I will have the pleasure here at, from this moment on to, to show the, the best three uh, abstracts and presentations. It's a set of abstract content quality and presentation because uh, they make, made the, their uh, evaluation the assessment, and so uh, we got the final results. We divided in uh, some different categories, and uh, in each category, we uh, uh, appointed the three best papers. So we will show to you, starting now, and uh, just after one uh, slide showing uh, the amount of uh, of uh, abstracts we we received. So. As I said before, we had the abstract for all of the thematic areas. So predominantly, biomaterials was the, the higher, uh, the highest uh, amount of, of works. But uh, it was very interesting to see that uh, all participants uh, sent the, their work with a very good quality. So directly, <laughs> with no suspense, so uh, we have here the undergraduate abstracts uh, three, uh, top three. So I would like to congratulate uh, these three uh, authors, authors and uh, works. Uh, they are institutions and advisors. So first position uh, was Elsie Malker Diaz Jr. from the Univers Federal University of Pará. Congratulations. Uh, the second position, Noelle Cardoso Zanini from uh, State University of Rio de Janeiro. And the third position, Rafaela Hartmann Casper from the Luterana University of Brazil. So will uh, the Congress uh, organization will send to you in the next days uh, a certificate 
with this honorable mention for you. Okay, congratulations and thanks for participating with high, uh, high quality content. So let's see now in the order, master's uh, abstracts. So we have here the three, the top three. Actually, these three, three uh, first positions, they, they tied and so they 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 get they they win they won as the first position so congratulate uh, Bruna Borstman Jardim Leal from the Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul Bruna Fernandes Antunes it's a Uniara student student congratulations and uh, Francisco Reco Torres who is from uh, São Paulo University from uh, Ribeirão Preto. Congratulations for you. It's, uh, I'm very happy to announce your names. Here we have the doctorate abstracts prizes. Uh, we, had, we have four name, names here. Uh, since we, we see the, the 30 position tied. And so we have here the top one, Jose Cleveton dos Santos from uh, UNESP in Araraquara. Congratulations. Uh, second one, Marlos Euripides de Andrade Loyola, also from UNESP, Araraquara. Third positions, uh, Jordana Andrade Santos from the Goiás Federal University. And uh, Fernanda Stappenhorst, França, uh, from uh, Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul. Congratulations for you. And I hope you can participate in, uh, in the future again in our next event. Postdoctorate and professionals abstracts category. So we have here the first position, uh, a double first position. So we here have uh, Guilherme Arthur Longitano from Renato Washer uh, Information Technology Center. We have at the, the first position also Karen, Karen de Souza do Prado from uh, Federal University of São Carlos from the Sorocaba campus. And the last one, or the not the last one, but the, the third position, Eric de Freitas from Venezuela, uh, Universidade Simón Bolívar. Congratulate for, uh, for you three. And I hope you were happy with this uh, deserved positions well uh, as a, a, a quick uh, closing ceremony uh, but just before uh, really indeed finishing it i would like to invite you uh, to visit the biofabrication uh, international conference site uh, this conference uh, should be have done this year but uh, of course because of the pandemic so this conference was postponed till september september of 2021 so uh, visit the website to know the areas the speakers uh, it's a fantastic place so who knows you can go there uh, i can say that i participated in um, five uh, biofabrication chapters some years ago. And so it's a very high quality Congress. Uh, it's not a big, big Congress, but uh, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a very specific, specialized conference. And also Termis, uh, Sixth World Congress next year also. And so uh, this will be held in Maastricht, Netherlands. And uh, I'm, uh, so this conference has been organized by Professor Lorenzo Moroni, who was one of our lecturers. So it's this, uh, here we have the, the website where you can visit and get more information, okay? So finishing. Uh, I would like to to give to leave to you these words here. Um, 
I have no words to express all my happiness and pride in accomplish 3DBB with you. Thanks to everyone who participated and supported our event. Uh, by last, I would like to make my uh, special uh, dedication for my wife, my kids, and my parents for their, their support during this organization time. So, I hope to see you again in the next edition of this conference, uh, Second 3D BB, next year. And thank you so much for all your audience and participation. See you! Com a fala do Dr. Rodrigo Rezende, chegamos ao final do primeiro Congresso Internacional Digital em Biofabricação e Bioimpressão 3D, o 3DBB da Universidade de Araraquara. Queremos, uma vez mais, render nossos agradecimentos e nosso respeito aos brilhantes palestrantes que por aqui passaram desde a última quarta-feira. Queremos agradecer de modo empenhado os nossos parceiros e apoiadores, sem os quais esta jornada simplesmente não aconteceria. E agradecemos principalmente a você participante que acreditou e confiou em nossa iniciativa e se inscreveu para este evento tão desafiador, mas que, ao final, mostrou-se de vital importância para os rumos e diretrizes da pesquisa, da ciência e da tecnologia. Que todos sejam amplamente recompensados por aquilo que proporcionaram uns aos outros e à comunidade acadêmica. E que possam, acima de tudo, desfrutar de muita paz e muito trabalho na construção de um mundo mais fraterno, mais justo e, sobretudo, mais saudável. Obrigado por virem e sejam felizes. Universidade de Araraquara, Uniara. Juntos escrevemos o futuro. Até o próximo evento.